Castle 3! Going for the boss after we just got the Nightmare Key. And I just lost the power triangle thing. So, yay. Alright, I need more hearts. There's one heart. I need at least one more. No? No? Well, fine then. Uh, I'll be fine with only missing half a heart. Just gotta remember to... There we go. As long as I don't lose any more. So, oh, yay! I can get that one. It is. It's that blob you gotta split in half. Neener, neener, you can't find me! Nya, nya. Oh, yeah? This one's tricky because you gotta, like, hit it right in the eye to get it to split apart and then run up the middle. Yeah, there we go. Nuts. It's like a millisecond too late. Ah. Bosses in this game aren't terrible. Got a heart container. And what's our instrument this time? Cowbell! Or a bell. The sea lily's bell. Nothing special that time around, but it all sounds great when it comes together. Waterfall. It is hidden in the waterfall. If you build it, they will come. Hoots, how many instruments have you gotten so far? Ah, I'm doing the wrong voice. How many instruments have you gotten so far? When you play the instruments in front of the egg, the wind fish will wake and you will leave this island. Now you must hasten to the Yarma Desert. The dark, monstrous inhabitants of the sand will show you the way. Hoot, hoot. <coughs> wind fish. So before I do that, I'm gonna go back to... It's not Kakariko Village, but I gotta go back to the village. Because I need to go here, where I can get the ocarina. You gotta go to sleep in some ancient bed. Who knows, who knows when the last time was that this was cleaned up, or who the last person was sleeping in it, but yeah, okay, let's sleep in this strange bed. I guess it's all in a dream, so it doesn't matter anyway. Yep, just gotta... Mollum.
go up here. I think there's rupees in this treasure chest. Yep, 100 rupees. You're happy. Don't tell me what I am. You can't tell me how to feel. I mean, Link is a kid, so he could, uh, he could argue that. There we go. You got the ocarina. You should learn to play many songs. And we will learn to play one song. So a dream within a dream. So this was Inception. Legend of Zelda is responsible for Inception. That's what it is. You die in your dream, you die in reality. Hey, that's a nice ocarina you have there. Will you accompany me as I sing? I love the music in this game. In any in a lot of these games, but this is really fun stuff, especially how they redid it for this version of the game. So how do you like it? It's really touching, isn't it? Does it stick in your mind? That's uh a bit creepy. You've learned the ballad of the windfish. This song will always remain in your heart. Yes it will. Please remember this song. You should play it every once in a while to keep it fresh in your mind. Okay, so they said... The Yarna Desert. So does that mean... I mean, I guess I need to go all the way out there. So let's, uh... Let's go, because I think the next thing is bringing Marin out to the animal village. Yeah, because then you need to... Oh, son of a gun. Yeah, that is where I need to go, because I need to get that key that's out there, which will take me to the waterfall. And then, because the fifth temple is... The one that's you have to go out like swimming to get to it. Look, man, back off. Ugh! Son of a gun. This is where we come to trade in the secret shells that we've acquired. <sighs> There's another secret seashell. There's a strange energy coming from there. You should take a closer look. I think you need to stop telling me what to do. That's what I think. So that's where we come. I don't think I have enough yet to get any of the gifts. Spirit of the Mansion, I've been waiting for someone, one who can overcome the darkness. Find the secret shells and ascend the platform. You will receive the ultimate sword. Sounds like you should come back with lots of shells and try standing on the platform. How about I do it now, because I want to. Oh, look at that. I did have enough. They give you a piece of heart to start. Yep. Got a piece of heart. Fantastic. Bye, fellas. Um... 
Oh boy. I guess I gotta go around this other way. Actually, you know what? There's a secret shell down here, too. Yeah, piece of power. Right here. Secret seashell. This way. Jerk. to getting that uh, bow and arrow set, which will be very important to have later on. And I have the honeycomb, so I have to get to the animal village so that I can trade that in. Hello, what does Fox say? Those things are jerks if you accidentally hit it with your sword. Like, I don't like hurting animals in games. I learned my lesson the hard way in the first Legend, or in uh, A Link to the Past, when you hit the chickens and they come and attack you. Yeah, that's, that's n not something I enjoy doing. And hurting animals in general, I don't like doing in games. It killed me in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom that one of the primary ways you earn uh, the ability to get health... Oh yeah, there's a fairy here. Uh, is by shooting wildlife. Like, I know they're not real, but it's the same reason that I'm not a jerk to people when I play games where they give you multiple, like, conversation options. You know, like, I'm not gonna say, like, no when people ask me to do stuff in this game because it's like, that's the function of the game. It's like you're not going to progress anywhere if you don't do what's necessary to move forward. And it also feels good to help people. But I don't like to be mean to animals. I really love the Zelda games where you like you can pick up the puppies and pet them and stuff like that. Interact positively with animals. Like, I'm all about that. Oh, son of a gun. These guys are moblins. They don't count. But, anyway, so the, just, the, the whole point is I don't like being mean to the animals. So anytime I do hit those animals, it's completely on accident. When I get into Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild territory, though, it's kind of like, ah, I gotta do what I gotta do. Another teleportation point doing okay for time. We got about a minute left. That's where they here, for those who don't know, since we're about out of time anyway. Stupid owl's gonna come up and bother me. Hoot! The wind fish sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above. When you play the eight instruments of the siren in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave the island. Okay. Get lost. So, come up here. I wish you could play... You know. Can I do that? Oh, I can. Neat. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, so... Ah, oh, this is cool.
that's awesome. I didn't think you could do that. I thought I was having uh, one of those memories. What is it? The Mandela effect? I was like, I don't think you can, but I feel like I remember you can do that. Anyway, obviously it's going to sound more full with more instruments, which I will get more of as we move forward. Thanks for hanging around. Come on back for part number eight, and we'll have a good time. Thanks for being here.